It's much more than an interesting stroll. The weekly Hastings Public Art Walking Tour gives a unique insight into what makes the Hawke's Bay District tick. From the war murals to recycled farm implements, the free weekly event gives a unique sense of people and place. Hastings Public Art is really good, in my opinion. We've got lots of amazing artworks in different styles and from different artists, um, New Zealand artists. We've got some artworks that represent our local um, community, but at the same time we've got an artwork, a, a mural, that represents a national event as well. Uh, in the recent years, we've, we've uh, seen a few more murals added to the public artworks of Hastings, which is quite exciting. The latest mural is a response to the Christchurch mosque shootings. Public arts represent the people and the history of a place. Um, so they are quite important in, in terms of telling those stories to the people who are visiting them. But at the same time, they add a lot of values to a society from in terms of the cultural aspect of them, aesthetic aspect of them, and also economic aspect of them. They are quite important for, for a community. They bring visitors to a town to see them and at the same time they create a sense of belonging and a sense of pride for the local community. Imagine being a child in Hastings and growing up seeing those sheep in, in the CBD by the fountain, uh, Sally, Molly, Polly and Chloe, the black sheep. So, you grow up jumping on them, playing on them, taking selfies on them, taking pictures, sending for your family there. You will never forget those sheep. The tour takes about 90 minutes, leaving from the foyer of the Hastings Art Gallery on Saturdays, with a minimum of five people needed to go ahead. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.